This is a workshop you would never see. They are carving all kinds of ornaments. Buddha Guan Yin, the Chinese goddess of mercy, jewelry and accessories, with the kind of animal that is facing extinction, Africa's elephants. The tusks made of elephants are for sale every minute in a warehouse like this one in Hong Kong, a long-standing hub for the international ivory trade. There are dozens of ivory traders on this street and hundreds that are licensed in Hong Kong. They say they're selling ivory obtained before 1989, the year international commercial trade in ivory was banned. <laughs> These traders say they're selling mammoths, which has been extinct for 3,000 years, and it is legal. However, according to the conservation group Wild Aid, which investigated Hong Kong traders with a hidden camera, revealed some are using the legal trade as a cover. The traders are providing fake invoices and stating it is mammoths, or claiming the ivory is from original stock held prior to the international ban. Every year, 33,000 elephants are killed across the African continent due to widespread poaching. Despite this, the U.S., Chinese mainland and Hong Kong are making efforts to combat. In 2013, the U.S. destroyed six towns of ivory. And in 2014, Chinese mainland destroyed six towns, while Hong Kong destroyed nearly 30 towns. In his 2016 policy address, Hong Kong's chief executive pledged to begin the legislative process to ban the import and export of elephant hunting trophies. We'll take steps to ban totally the sale of ivory uh, in Hong Kong. It will be a total ban. As to the uh, matter of uh, timing, we'll do it expeditiously, as quickly as we can. According to official figures, 242 tons of ivory were sold in Hong Kong between 1990 and 2008, an average of around 13 tons a year. Since 2010, recorded sales have slowed. For people who say, oh, if you destroy the stockpile, that will send the price going higher. Well, that's not true. That's clearly not true because the price of ivory has been crashing. And we know the ivory traders are desperately trying to sell their stocks. There's some shops in this area, if you walk around, where there's notices in the window where it says 50% off. The traders now, they, they can't uh, sell the stuff fast enough. They want to get rid of it because they know that it's a sunset industry. A survey by the University of Hong Kong showed 75% of respondents said they support an ivory sale ban in Hong Kong. Just seeing pictures of elephants dying, uh, this is something that really makes me angry. And how can man uh, do this to animals that are innocent? Children in Hong Kong can also join the campaign, saying no to the illegal ivory trade. With the Zhu Dan, CCTV, Hong Kong.